of a political party called UBND. And your three minutes, Sasna. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Moderator. Permit me latitude to first of all make mention to say that as we speak about young people's participation in politics, we have at the moment our Lusaka District Vice IPS, uh, Comrade Matomo Lalikwanya, who has spent over two weeks incarcerated at Charleston Police. And he's been incarcerated for the very purposes or for the very causes which we as young people in Zambia are trying to fight against. So on that score, I would like to appeal to the police command to be professional, to be uh, fair in their discharging of duties, and not to take instructions from politicians. Now, coming to your question, uh, or the theme of the discussion or debate of tonight, Mr. Moderator, can young people change the political dispensation? I say yes, we can. Yes, we can change the political dispensation in this country. Yes, we can change the direction of this country. Yes, we can develop this country. But we are not just going to change if we remain spectators. We can change this country not just as spectators, not just as political vuvuzelas, not just as cadres hard for violence, not just as people who are there to push up other people on their political ladder to get to the positions where they want to be. We can change this country if we act not as spectators, but as citizens who are active participants in the political process. And when I talk about being an active participant in the political process, I'm not just talking about uh, being a voter. Because by and large, you realize to say that as youth for a very long time, we've been relegated to the position of just being vuvuzelas and voters who vote for those people who are well empowered with finances. By the way, finances is one of the key challenges which, which youths are, are facing in this country. I'm not ashamed to say that I was coming, as I was coming to this studio, I wasn't driving, I had to use the public transport. So imagine, you're a candidate, you're in the thick of a campaign, and you don't even have a vehicle. Those are real challenges which, are, which a, a youth face. But having said that, challenges are there to be overcome, and I can say that coming from the largest political party, led by President Haka Inde Ichilema, the incoming president of the Republic of Zambia, I can say to say that the UPND is very much committed to not only adopting youth candidates, but also empowering these uh, candidates, not only in terms of finances, but also in terms of skills empowerment. We have a robust training program for, for, for the youths in the UPND in order to ensure to say that we build leaders, not just cadres who are going to take over leadership position for the purposes of looting Mukula, for the purposes of inflating contracts, fire tenders, roads, name it. No, we want leaders, young leaders, who are going to be responsible. And finally, comrade moderator, I do not believe that age itself or being young is a qualification for leadership. I'm one of the young people who are against those young people who think that being young is a qualification for leadership. No. The qualification for leadership is the idea, the commitment, and the zeal that you exhibit as a youth who wants to participate in the development of a country. Being young without ideas does not qualify you to be a leader. But Thank being young with zeal and progressive ideas to change your country you so much, qualifies Minister. you for leadership. Your three minutes is up. Thank you. Uh, Gregory, your, the same question. Are young people's contribution uh, to the well-being of political